Pisces. You could be dealing with a Virgo. So you got double Virgo energy and watch out for the number nine. Okay, Pisces. All right. All right, Pisces. Let's see. Let's see what's going on for my Pisces. Ooh, I want to pop out. The eight of, eight of Wands. Some of you guys could also be dealing with a Sagittarius as well or a Leo. All right, and go to Virgo again. All right, Pisces. Let's see. Let's see what's going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, Pisces. Let's see. Give me one card, please, for Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh, so Pisces, we got here the Tower. So Pisces, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Watch out for the number 16 or 61, okay? All right, you guys. So let's see what this Tower is all about. I'm showing that this Tower is going to bring in unexpected change, all right? There's some unexpected changes that you're about to have. All right, that's coming in, that's showing up, okay, with this tower here. Watch out for the letter T. Tell me more about this tower for Pisces. Tell me more about this tower. Oh, so we got here the lovers. So I'm showing Gemini. There's a Gemini involved, Gemini energy here. So I'm showing air sign, water sign. Water sign such as yourself, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. All right, and I'm showing air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And here's a Pisces Cancer energy here as well, okay? All right, Pisces. So there are going to be some changes, changes in this connection that you share with this person that you're dealing with. That's what I'm showing here with this tower here, all right? So very unexpected. All right, it, it's showing me... It's showing me, Pisces, that you knew that this was going to come in. You knew some unexpected changes was going to show up, show out for you with this high priest energy. It's like you, it's just like, it's something that you know, all right, with this person that you're dealing with, okay, this person that you, you're connected to. It's just like you have this strong bond with this person, all right, all right? That's how this energy feels, like it's, it's strong Okay, tell me more about this lovers here. Tell me more about this lovers for Pisces. Tell me more about this lovers for Pisces. Okay, look. <laughs> so we got here the strength and we got here the nine of cups, all right? So Pisces energy again, cancer energy here as well. All right, so... I'm going to show that this unexpected change that's going to happen with them Pisces is this person is going to get themselves together here with this strength. This person, they want to continue to try. They want to continue to invest in this situation, this connection that you have with them. And I'm showing a nine of cups energy. So this is the burst of joy, happiness with this nine of cups energy here. All right. That's what I'm showing here. Something about a house, the home here with this four of wands energy and like i like again you guys i'm showing fire sign aries leo sagittarius energy okay so we got here scorpio energy pisces cancer pisces cancer aries leo sagittarius and we got here gemini okay and look at gemini i want to show out pisces look look at that look at that look at that all right gemini so tell me more about this tower Okay, because the tower is definitely about to hit. The first card is the strongest. So tell me more about this tower for Pisces. Tell me more about the tower for Pisces and this person. Tell me more about this tower for Pisces and this person. Why is the tower here? Okay. Or just flying out. Okay, there we go. So this flew out. So we have here the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords energy. Oh. It's like, Pisces, you feel like this person changed, all right? They're changing 
up on you. They doing that little Gemini energy, okay? And like I said, it don't have to be a Gemini, but you know, this person got two sides to them. All right, they can have a Gemini moon, Venus, a riser, or even Mars in their chart here. That's what I'm shown. Because it's just like, look, I almost called you Gemini. Pisces, it's just like you in this energy of stuck. All right, you don't know what's going on with this person. It's just like you try to figure this person out. I'm shown that this person, they don't really express much. They really don't express things to you like they should. Okay, Pisces. That's what I'm showing here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fellow Pisces energy. So we got here the Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yes. So this definitely feels like a betrayal that they're doing towards you. Okay, Pisces? It feels this way about them. With the Seven of Swords energy. Let's see. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. It's just like this person is, they trying to do some sneaky stuff behind your back but by, by exploring their options here, okay? That's what I'm showing. This person is out there dealing, you know, doing them, okay? They trying to do them here. That's what I'm showing. Scorpio energy, Cancer, Pisces energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, okay? So I'm showing like you're dealing with somebody who's, backstabbing betraying you and look pisces i gotta keep it real y'all this is exactly what i'm seeing and this is what i'm shown that's why the 999 kept coming up because it talks about some endings that's going on with this person okay endings that that's going to lead to a new beginning here okay with this person but it's like your person it's like they're doing them okay i'm showing cheating like this person they cheating because you feel like something is really up with them, something is really wrong, or something is actually going on. It's, it's really them out there doing them with this Seven of Cups. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio energy, okay? And then we got here the Six of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces that you're dealing with, all right? This could be a baby mother, baby father. Oh, I'm gonna call you Cancer Pisces. All right, this is definitely somebody you know for a while, okay, Pisces? I'm showing at least six months, all right? Six, seven, eight months. Ten of Wands. Yeah, I'm telling you guys with this Ten of Wands, it's just like, Pisces, it feels like you burnt out from this person that you're dealing with, okay? Mm. There's definitely a pause on this connection between you and them with this hangman here. It's just like you're not going to get the marriage. You're not going to get the, the relationship that you want out of this person. It's because this person, they backstabbing you. They, they betraying you. They doing you dirty. Okay, Pisces? So watch out for this person, okay? Because I'm showing that this person, they could be dealing with a co-worker, somebody at work, somebody who they're dealing with here, and you don't want that. So make sure when, you, when it comes down to this person, because I'm showing that your person is very much so sneaky. <laughs> I got to keep it real, y'all. All right, Pisces, this is the only thing I have for you. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.